Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be doing a full face using your holy grail makeup products. So I asked you guys over on my Instagram what your holy grails are. I wanted to put them to the test, do a full face. So it was definitely interesting seeing what products are your holy grails and things that I like as well, which was really cool. So we're gonna get started. For primer, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. So it's just the replenishing face primer, kind of like a moisturizer consistency. And I actually do really like this one as well, so. It was definitely fun to see what you guys absolutely love and like need in your collection because I feel like a lot of them are similar to mine. So I forgot to do my brows. I did already go through them with a spoolie, but I didn't add any product in there. I will do my brows because I did get a response for that. Let me just blend this in. And I do like this primer because it does feel like a moisturizer, but definitely dries down and feels like a primer where it's really going to help the foundation stick to it as well. So for brows, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow. This is their micro brow pencil in the color Brunettes. It has a spoolie and then the brow pencil on the other end. So I did go ahead and pick this up and I did not have this one already on hand, but I did need another brow pencil, so that was awesome. I like brow pencils as well. I prefer them over like a pomade, at least right now. I used to love pomades, but I've been keeping it more of like that natural, like brush up kind of soapy brow look or like a bushy brow. So I do like brow pencils for that to achieve that look. Just gonna run it in pretty lightly and then spoolie right on top of it. And I do my brows the same. <laughs> so if you do wanna see a brow video, I have that on my channel and nothing's really changed too, too much. Maybe products here and there, but the technique is the same. I do like this, it's very pigmented. A little messy like, but that's okay. And honestly, 10 out of 10 for this one, I like this product a lot. There's a lot of pigment to it. Moving into foundation, I was getting a few of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in the dewy version. So this one's in the shade Buff Bisque and I don't know if it's gonna match, I'm really hoping. I love this foundation, I've used it so many times. So I'm just going to apply like so. I also haven't used this one in a bit, so I'm kind of excited to use it. I'm just gonna blend it in with a beauty sponge. I love this foundation as well, I love it for the dewy part, but I also love the finish of it. It doesn't look overly dewy, you know? Like it definitely has a natural radiance kind of finish and just looks super healthy. Like we love that. I'm just gonna keep on blending it. I'm gonna go back and add a little bit more, but I'm just gonna apply to the beauty blender and then dot it on the skin. Okay, so once I have that all blended in, like I love the finish of it. Look how flawless like my skin looks. Love this. I'm actually really excited that you guys mentioned this one because now I feel like I'm gonna be using it again a lot more. That always happens with me. I'll like put something away into my collection and kind of like forget about it. Not necessarily forget about it, but just not use it like I have all of my other everyday products. I love it. Perfect. Now for concealer, I'm super excited. I went ahead and picked up the Hourglass Concealer. This is the Vanish Concealer and I picked mine up in the shade Sepia. As soon as I saw this come in as a response, I was like, yep, that's the concealer I wanna try. I don't know why I have not gotten around to trying this, but I'm very excited about it. I love this packaging. I love that it's like a frosted glass. Absolutely adore it. And I should really be purchasing some more Hourglass products. I don't know why I haven't. And it may be a little light. I feel like I say that now a lot when I'm trying out new products. So we'll just make it work, but I'm gonna apply it up here for a lifted effect and a little bit in here. And use that same sponge as well to blend it out. So I'm gonna let this sit on the skin for just a second and I'm gonna go ahead and apply my cream contour. Now you guys were saying the e.l.f. cream contour, which is so funny because it's actually my favorite Holy Grail palette as well. But I'm just gonna apply this right now to the perimeters of the face. So right here. And I'll go in and blend it out with another brush. So just initially put it on the perimeter. When I tell you I swear by this, like this has been my Holy Grail product for maybe four years now. I love this. Love how it melts into my skin so effortless. So I'm just gonna apply it here. I'm gonna now go in and blend out the concealer. I 
is a little bit light for my liking, but again, that's my fault because I couldn't test any of the shades. So, so I wouldn't know until now, but we'll make it work. If I have to go in and add a little bit of a different color in here, that's fine. Definitely full coverage concealer though. Um, covered up so much. And I would say that it does dry pretty fast. So I definitely didn't have to leave it sitting there, but that's okay. I'm gonna blend out the cream contour and kind of blend it right into here. I've recently been using this brush to blend out my contour and I love it. It is the Il Maquillage. It's their foundation brush, but it works really good for blending out contour, like sinks right into the skin. So for powder, you guys were saying the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. I'm super excited to try this because honestly, I've never tried this before. And if I have, it was like when it first came out and it was years ago, but I always see people rave about this powder. So I'm actually really excited to try it out. I picked mine up in the shade Fair Light. Looks really similar to my Holy Grail, which is the Laura Mercier Translucent. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on this sponge and apply right in here. Oh yeah, I feel like I'm gonna love this. Why does that look so snatched? That's great. I'm gonna put it on the sides of my nose as well. While I have it out, I'm also gonna take it right here and apply right underneath the contour a little bit. Oh my God, I feel like this is gonna be my new favorite powder. Why is it so silky smooth? <gasps> Guys. Oh my goodness, I love it. <laughs> Okay, so I obviously have to blend it out first, but just by me using it right here I think the shade fair lights perfect for me Kind and dust this away very lightly into the skin. Ooh That looks pretty good For under here, I'm going to brush it away while still pressing into the skin So it kind of just stays in place, but it still dusts it. I like this a lot. This is me like in utter shock that I haven't <laughs> used this before. It's not part of my holy grails because um, now it is. So thank you for the recommendations. Excuse that line, I'm gonna blend it out, but what? For bronzer, we have the Physician's Formula. This is their bronze booster. And I haven't used this in a very long time. I actually did have this in my collection, which was great. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this lightly to my skin. It does have a little bit of shimmer to it. Just gives you that sun-kissed kind of glow. Start over here in the back of my cheekbone. It is super pretty though. I haven't used this in a while, but mm, do love it. A little bit of that shimmer effect, so I'm not gonna add too, too much. Pleasantly pleased with your recommendations of your Holy Grails because this looks so good. Like my base right now looks pretty darn good. I like it. Now I'm gonna go with a little bit of blush. Now I've been a big blush person recently. I do not know what it is and what's gotten into me. But I was super excited when I saw the response of this blush because I looked it up and I was like, okay, I don't own that, which was great, but the color is so my vibe. This is by Wet n Wild. It is their color icon blush in the shade Mellow Wine. I love this. Totally my tone. Get a little bit. Put it here, but bringing it upwards. Oh my God, so cute. I feel like I always scare myself with putting on too much, but then I go in with the brush and blend it out, so we're good. Okay, that's really pretty. I don't wanna go overboard, but I do love the look of it. I love the tone, so definitely gonna be part of my everyday routine, I feel. Perfect. Now I'm gonna jump into the eyes and then we'll get back into like the highlighting my skin in a little bit. I did get two eyeshadow palettes that I'm gonna go ahead and narrow between. I don't know which one I wanna choose because I feel like they're both limited edition. I didn't get too many eyeshadow responses actually, so I'm not sure which one I wanna go with. We have the NARS Afterglow palette and then we have the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette. I'm gonna go ahead and prime up the lids very quickly and like I said, I feel like they're both limited edition items, so if you can't get them anymore, I'm sorry. But you guys said it was your holy grail, so I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna just go in with the Pumpkin Spice from Too Faced. I'm gonna use the shade A La Mode. I really hope you guys are able to still get this palette. So I'm just gonna lightly put this on my eye like so, press it in. Also bring it into the upper crease and out here. But something about these like blushy tones recently, guys, I don't know what's gotten into me. I love it. Like mauve blushy, super cute and like, Sweet looking, I don't know, it's just super cute. I'm gonna brush it outwards, blend it outwards into the end of the brow. 
build that up a little bit more. The options in here are so nice. So whether you can get this palette or not still, just any palette that has like these tones to it, the whole color theory is super pretty. And I love all Too Faced eyeshadow palettes. They're so smooth and I love that they all have like a scent to it. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one as is. And now I'm gonna hop into, like I said, the NARS Afterglow palette. Um, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of that brown shade right here and pop that into the outer area. And take a little bit of this shimmery shade and put that right here. And of course, amping it up to your liking. You don't have to just do it subtle. I know I do a lot of my looks pretty subtle and like natural looking, but you definitely don't have to. You could take my look and amp it up. So just letting you know. I like that look. I feel like that's really pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into the highlighting of the skin. I did not get a spray to spritz my face, so I'm just gonna quickly spray something really fast. But it's the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. So buttery, so smooth, blinding pigment, amazing. Just gonna take a little fan brush. Oh, like look at that. So whether you're doing a very glam look and you want a full like highlight, you're gonna get that with this. But even if you wanna just keep it like subtle. You don't have to spray your face. You don't have to add a ton on the brush. You just need a little bit, like a little whoosh and you're good to go. Like, I'm not kidding. You get so much pigment. Oh, I've raved about this for years. Like I'm obsessed. For lashes, I'm gonna go in with the Kiss Lashes. These are the 01 lashes and you guys love them as well. So I was super excited when I saw this coming in. I'm gonna go ahead and trim the outer corners just a little bit and pop those on. And then I have a fun mascara to try. So here are the lashes on. I seriously love them. Moving into mascara, you guys were recommending the Essence Lash Princess. So I've always heard about this mascara. I've never tried it for myself. I don't know why, because it's literally like $5. So Brie, what are you doing? I'm very excited to try it out. Cute packaging, supposed to give that false lash effect. That is the wand. So I'm gonna go ahead and start applying from mainly the roots. Ooh, okay. Very, very, very bold. Oh gosh. Okay, so I just got it on my outer corner. I'll have to wipe that away once I'm finished, but so far pretty bold in pigment. I like to blink on it as well to get it really into the root. Okay, but that pretty bold. Wow. So I can only imagine like natural lashes, what the actual like intensity is gonna be. And I was gonna do a little bit on the lower today, but already like I only did a dot and that looks pretty good. Okay, yeah, one thing I have to say, this is loaded with pigment. Um, wow, that has a lot of pigment to it. So I'm just gonna wait for that to dry because I did get a little bit on my lower lashes as well as my top. The lashes look pretty darn good, so we love that. Next up for lips, I got NYX liners. So you guys just said NYX lip liners and here we are. And we're just gonna go in with the Nude Truffle, which is one of my holy grails. So I also got a response of a lipstick, which I really wanted to try out. It's the Revlon lipstick in the shade Brazilian Tan. Pretty nice nude shade. It's a little bit more on the like orangey kind of nudes. And I also got the response of the Fenty Gloss Balm. I was debating on using it or not. I feel like I'm just gonna pop a little bit into the center because why not? We love a gloss. All right, so once I've done that, that completes this look, trying all of your Holy Grail makeup products. I really enjoyed doing this video. We have so many of the same favorites, which I love. And I also am obsessed with this Maybelline Fit Me powder. I do not know why it's not been a part of my collection. So now it is, and I cannot wait to continue using that. Thank you guys so much for getting involved in this video. I really do love doing these style videos. So let me know what other kind of videos like this, like more interactive you guys would like to see. I'm gonna have all these products listed below for you guys in the description. So check there if you're interested, but absolutely love them all hands down. So I believe that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.